everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Tam and in today's video I'm going to show you with you how to customize your iPhone with iOS 14 and how to make it really aesthetically pleasing to suit you. So without further ado, let's just get started with this video. So I'm going to first show you what my iOS 14 home screens look like. So I'm just going to pop them up on the screen over here. So as you can see, I've gone for a really plain black and white kind of aesthetic. It's very sleek, it's very minimal, and that's sort of the vibe I was going for. And then I've just put like this beach background that I found off of Pinterest, and I'll leave a link in the description box down below. So this is basically how I customized my iPhone. So I'm going to show you exactly how to achieve something like this, or exactly this. So I've just moved over so that I can prop up my iPhone screen over here. So the first thing you want to do is download the app called Widgetsmith and another app called Motivation. There is also another app called Color Widget and there's a whole bunch of other apps but my personal recommendation is Widgetsmith and Motivation. So once you've downloaded those two apps let's get started on how to use Widgetsmith. So as you can see these are all my widgets I mainly like the small widgets, which are the little tiny ones, and these medium widgets. I don't really like the large widgets as I find they are really, really big, but if that's your vibe, go for it. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to customize and how to like get around this app. So let's just create a small widget. So what you want to do is go add small widget, and then it adds a new small widget for you. You want to click that then click it again. There is a lot of different styles and options for your widget. So you have four different time options, you have about like seven date options, you have your own custom options, so a photo, photos in an album, custom text or just a blank um, like filler. You also have your calendar, there's reminders, the weather which you have to pay for so it's a subscription I haven't paid for it um, I don't personally see the need to pay for it and then you have health and activity you also see the tides and then there's astronomy and I really love the astronomy one um, the moon phase one is like so cool um, so yeah what you want to do from there is let's just pick one so I'm just gonna go with this one currently then you can choose your font that you want. So once you've picked your style, you then pick your font and they have a whole bunch of different kinds of fonts that you can choose from. I would personally only stick with the top five, the bottom four are just not a vibe and they're a big no-no in the design world. So yeah, um, I personally love the rounded font. Um, another font that I've seen people use quite often is New York, which is a serif font. I quite like it. Um, I'm back and forth between it, um, but I prefer the rounded font because I prefer how everything else looks with the rounded font. So, and then, so once you've picked your font, you can then pick the color that you want the text or the thing to be. So I'm just going to stick with white, um, but as you can see, there are a lot of color options. Then you get to choose your background color. So there's a whole bunch of different colors to choose from. There's some pastels and all these other colors. And then once you pick a background color, you have the option to add a border to that um, widget. I really don't like the border thing. It's just not for me, but yeah, it's there if you want it. So I'm just going to go with a pastel pink or well, pale pink in this instance, and then yeah, you just go back and then you click save and then your widget is now added to your small widgets here. So that's basically how you use the app. Um, same process to add a medium widget, same process to add a large widget. Obviously, um, the medium widget will display more data than the small widget and then the large widget will dis display a lot more in comparison to the medium widget. So it's just up to you and what kind of data you want to um, a display on your phone and what you feel is more important, etc. So, once we've done that, we now want to go into our home page. 
So from our home page, you want to just hold down on your home screen and then your app start jiggling. And then what you want to now do is go to the little plus sign in the top left corner. And then over here, you can see there is a whole bunch of widgets. So these are the apps that, so as you can see, I have one for Streaks and Spark, which is the mail app I have. Then you have the normal iOS um, or the Apple widgets. Um, yeah, so you can go ahead, add these widgets onto your phone, etc. But we're doing an aesthetically pleasing widget video. So what you want to do is scroll right down to the bottom where you see Widgetsmith. Go to Widgetsmith. And now it gives you the option to choose between your small widgets, your medium widgets, or your large widgets. So all you will do is, obviously we added a new small widget, so you're going to go add small widget. Then what you're going to do is click done. I don't know why it didn't add, but then what you're going to do is click um, edit widget. And now you can pick whichever widget you want. So for example, let's say we just created the small number seven. You can um, rename these if you want to. I just don't see a point small seven and there you have it it's now being displayed there we now have the date in this like pale pink color it's really cute so i'm just going to share some tips on how to make your widgets consistent and look aesthetically pleasing and coherent because you can actually do these steps with widget smith add all these widgets and it'll still not look coherent and aesthetically pleasing so what i would suggest is firstly picking like a max of three colors um, for a color palette for your background color. Um, for example, I mean, I've stuck with just one, which is black. You could stick with just a consistent pink or a consistent purple, or you can have like a mix. So like, let's say the pale pink, the pastel purple and the cream, that's your color palette. I would suggest like sticking with a max of three so that it's kind of consistent and then sticking with the same text color will also just make everything coherent and flow nicely and make everything look like it's meant to be together and then the last thing is having like just stick with one font so if you like the new york font stick with that consistently throughout all your widgets if you like the rounded font which is the one that i have currently then stick with that consistently throughout all your widgets as well because mixing and matching the fonts and everything, I don't think they actually work that well together. Um, the font pairing just doesn't work well. This is design point of view. Yeah, I would just stick with the one consistent look and feel so that it has the same look and feel throughout so that it's like coherent and aesthetically pleasing. So now with the new update, you're able to hide apps that you don't wanna see on your home screen as well as hide and show home screen pages. So in how to do this is you hold down your home screen until your apps and your widgets start jiggling. And then what you can do is literally tap the like indicator to show what page you're on. And then it shows you all the pages that you have. So now what you can do is literally hide pages. And um, that means they're hidden. And now I literally just have these two pages. And then when I want to show them again, I can just um, show them and then they're all there. So that's just something really cute and simple that you can do just to get rid of a lot of pages if you have a lot of pages. The next thing is your app library. So I'm just going to quickly slide over so it's right onto the end. It's on the right, out of the way, and then all your apps are all automatically organized into categories for you. I don't like the organization system, but for someone who doesn't like know how to organize their apps, I do think that this is great for whoever that is. But for me, I'd personally like to be able to organize my own folder, like have my own folders and my own organizational system in the app library. But hopefully that will come out at some point or a later stage. But yeah, I'm just going to show you now. So I have put the YouTube app there. So now you hold down, um, so now everything's jiggling, so now you click the little minus button and then you can say, you can either delete the app or move it to the app library so it's not, no longer on your home screen anymore and then you can keep your home screen clean and fresh away from all the apps you don't actually use or want to use or never use but you kind of need them there for like once in a while. 
So I would suggest having all your main and important apps that you always use on your home screen and then moving everything else into the app library. I think it's just a lot easier and a lot more cleaner. And then obviously, as you can see, it's put back into the app library. So the next thing you're going to want to do is customize your app icons. How you're going to do this is with the Shortcuts app. And what you're going to do firstly is go onto Google and search up, for example, um, your messages app. Go onto Google, search up black messages icon, and then it'll come up with a whole bunch of things that you can choose from. Um, I've seen people use like photos or anything you can literally search anything but if you want the actual icon just go and search up on google black messages icon and then that's how i found my little messages icon and that's basically how i found all the icons that i have currently on my um home screen so that's what you can do you can do this with any color you can go and search beige pink whatever so literally whatever you want go and look it up and just scroll through the icons it does take a little bit of time but what i would suggest you doing is Pick your main apps that you want on displayed on your home screen and then go and like literally find an image for every single one of those apps. Like I know it seems like a lot but this is the process we have to take. And then once you have all of those pictures, save them into your photos and let's get on to this next step. So what you're going to do is go into the shortcuts app, go to the little add button in the top right corner, click add action, then you're going to say open app and then you're going to click open app then you're going to click choose and now you can choose literally whichever app you want it to open so let's say i choose coaster you then can click um this little arrow the little share arrow in the bottom right and then you can click add to home screen so now it says what the shortcut is. So now what you can do is literally customize the text to whatever you want. You can put an emoji if you want. You can put like those like fancy other text things that you get that people use in their Instagram bios. You can do that. I personally like to add um, spaces in between the letters. So all lowercase and then I just like write a letter and add a space in just to make it look... Um, quite cute <laughs> and then what you're going to do is tap the little icon next to that and then it'll give you the um, option to take a photo choose a photo choose a file so let's say choose a photo let's say I have this little hand icon here I say choose and then now it gives me the, like the little preview at the top and then I say add then you just need to save this um, shortcut as something in the shortcuts app make sure you save it before you exit out of the app once you've done that, we can now see in the bottom there, my little co-star like app thing is created. And as soon as I click on that, it takes me straight into co-star. That's how you create little custom app icons. So that's how you create your custom app icons. And I would also suggest going with the same thing, trying to find a consistent theme. Don't go crazy and do a whole bunch of different colored apps. Um, I've seen people use like actual photos and make it look very very artsy like it looks really cool I personally like the icon kind of look like I still want to know what the app is and I don't want it to just have a picture But I've seen people do that and it looks really cool Then obviously the last thing you need to do is find a wallpaper choose a wallpaper I'll leave a link in the description for my wallpaper and yeah, I'll just set it as your home screen and like that's it like you are done like you are sorted you are free to go and spend the next five hours because it literally takes really long like don't underestimate it it takes really long to do this that brings me to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it I'll leave a comment down below if this video helped you if you have any app recommendations for like widgets and stuff please also leave them in the comments down below let's share them all with everyone on this channel and it also helps my engagement so like even leaving like an emoji or something really helps with like my engagement on this channel and yeah please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe as well if you haven't already and i love you all so so much and i'll see you next week bye guys